Hello, it's Beanie here. Um, today is uh, 14 of October. Uh, in this recording, I'd like to share with you how to use Tor Alerts. Right? Tor Alerts are being sent every morning about 5.01 to 5.05 a.m. All right, depending on daylight saving into your telegram. All right, so when you wake up, you will be able to see those uh, you know, pairs or tr uh, indexes or commodities or forex that have the uh, tall alerts. All right, and uh, there are two types of alerts that is being sent. Okay, which is tall one and tall two, and all of them uh, will measure into the uh, wash and means. Okay, the good thing about having all these alerts being sent to your Telegram is that you do not need to host your own tall indicator in your VPS because in order to have all these alerts being sent, you need to have a server that runs 24 hours by uh, 5 days. Okay, so let me just talk about how to you know use the alerts and uh, and uh, also you know what are some of the indications in the tall indicator and how to use that. Alright, so quickly let's take a look at the disclaimer. Okay, now on my screen here, you're going to see the um, tall alerts that's being sent every morning. I have the alerts on the 9th of October and then I have, if you scroll down, I have alerts on the 12th of October, for example. So every morning at about uh, 5, all right, you will start sending and of course, there, if there are markets that's open, uh, at 6 a.m. in the morning, then you will start sending at 6 a.m. Okay, so 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. Singapore time, make sure that your phone is not, um, it's not, uh, it's on a silent mode, okay, so that you won't be disturbed when you are sleeping, right? Now, uh, let me just quickly go through the alerts um, on the 9th of October, all right? Uh, for alerts to be sent on the 9th of October, to receive that on the 9th of October, it means that um, the previous day, which is on the 8th of October, all right, there, there's a signal. Uh, it's a little bit confusing because then uh, actually by right, uh, the signal for Tor should end on the 9th of October as well. And therefore, it's being sent on the 9th of October. It's on a 24 hours basis. Okay, so we have, um, you know, uh, effects here. And then we have some of the commodities. And of course, we have uh, a lot of uh, signal, right, uh, buy signal right uh, for the um, indexes okay so we have the buy signal for us tech that's nasdaq uh, uk 100 uh, us 30 that's dow jones and s p 500 so basically last week on the 9th of uh, october all right tor had a signal right uh, which is showing us that there could be uh, a buy trick coming up and that's when we need to take these alerts and to check it back into Tor and to check it in the chart so rather rather um, to not to receive all this and not to be not to be aware of this right um, if you subscribe for the alien room three months for example or the alien room one year then all these alerts right are being sent to your phone okay All right, now I have the chart which is US tech. Remember, we had an alert on the 8th of October, end of 8th of October, and on the 9th of October, you are being sent um, the tall alert into to your Telegram. All right, so uh, if you can see this arrow here, all right, so that's on the uh, end of 8th of October. All right, end of the day or end of the period where you put your tall indicator in, then the alert will be sent to you. All right, so end of the day, uh, will be 8th of October. That's where the signal is completed and it will be sent to you on the 9th of October in the morning at 5 a.m. All right, or 6 a.m. All right, as soon as the market opens for that instrument. All right, now, um, you will be wondering how come there are arrows and how come they are thick, all right? As long as it's green color is a buy, so it can be a green thick or it can be a green arrow. If it's a red color, that's a sell, all right? So it can be a red thick, it can be a red arrow. Now, don't worry about all this thick that doesn't seem uh, accurate, okay? It, a thick signal, all right, for example, a thick that didn't turn out to be uh, moving well can become a signal for us to trade on the other side. So, for example, we can see that there was a, a close-up, 
All right, so there was a bullish move, but this move didn't move out of the price structure. Okay, what's the price structure? It's still being resisted, and we can trade when it uh, reverts back down. The thing is that Tor works very well in the higher time frame, which is on the day, on the week. Okay, and then when we want to find a signal, we always fine tune in the lower time frame. Okay, meaning that instead of executing that on a day, we will go to the lower time frame, such as every bar is four hour or every bar is one hour, and we will trade that. All right. Otherwise, sometimes by just using tall itself, okay, tall indicator itself, it can be uh, stop loss can be really very wide. All right. So uh, do take note of that. Now it doesn't mean that I can't buy at this place here. You can. All right. But then be prepared to pay for a slightly wider stop loss okay so in our course we will teach you how to enter the trade when you see a wash here so this is a wash all right and then to enter at the end of this bar all right or at the middle of this um, long bar here so that we are able to get in a trade earlier before it happens okay before the actual tour happens all right now if you are asking me what's about all those um dots here and the green dots uh, that's to tell you easily there was a potential a uh, wash bar at the next bar so for example if this black color bar close below the previous low but tall suspect that it could be um uh, a wash bar here and then it will draw in the dots here all right a magenta dots all right a magenta dots suggest that there might be a bearish fake break okay or bearish um wash all right now if you can see all these lines all these are definitely very very important lines okay um these magenta lines would be enhanced and drawn are using another tall indicator that you're gonna have and you're gonna receive that if you were to take the three months the alien room okay we're gonna teach you how to use all these lines but definitely these lines are very very important all right so um if you can see this line here then the value is one one two seven line all right so uh we trade that in the lower time frame meaning that when we execute the trade we always do that in the lower time frame so it's again one one two seven zeros around there okay so this again that this line uh, was being plotted in the lower time frame which is a h4 okay so for example we are able to fine tune the trade and to enter all right um the trade not after the signal has appeared not only after the signal has appeared we are able to find you the trade and to enter at this h4 close all right after price has gone uh, moved above the uh, magenta level here that was being plotted in tall that's 11282 so you can see that our entry was somewhere around here right uh with a stop loss at this bottom here okay now in case that price has moved up and you receive the tall alerts all right then we can follow through with a re-entry right so for example uh, there was a re-entry somewhere around this point here so that's where we have a re-entry and to have the um uh, great moves of um, uh, the US tech, which is the NASDAQ. All right, we had a wonderful move of about uh, five to six hundred points again. All right, first trade at here, the second trade at here. So that's how we use tall indicators to help us. Number one, it warn us that something might be happening. All right, and with all these lines. Okay, with all these lines that's being plotted, we are able to know the key levels. All right? um, if you can't explore a little bit more or you can join me at the course.